Hi! Welcome to the Moment in Christ channel. He who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. John 2. My little children, I write these things to you, so that you may not sin, and if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the whole world. And by this we know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. He who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whosoever keepeth his word, the love of God is in him truly perfected, by this we know that we are in it. He who says he is in it must also walk as he walked. Brethren, I do not write to you a new commandment, but the old commandment, which you had from the beginning. This ancient commandment is the word which you heard from the beginning. Again I write to you a new commandment, which is true in him and in you, because the darkness passes, and now the true light shines. He who says he is in the light and hates his brother, has been in darkness until now. He who loves his brother is in the light, and in him there is no scandal. But he who hates his brother is in darkness, and walks in darkness, and does not know where he should go, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. I am writing to you, little children, because in his name your sins are forgiven. Fathers, I am writing to you, because you have known him who is from the beginning. Young people, I write to you, because you have conquered the evil one. I write to you, children, because you have known the Father. I have written to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I wrote to you, young people, because you are strong, and the word of God is in you, and you have already overcome the evil one. Do not love the world, nor what is in the world. If anyone loves the world, the Father's love is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but of the world. And the world passes away, and its lust, but he that does the will of God abideth forever. Little children, it is already the last hour, and as you have heard that Antichrist is coming, even now many have become Antichrists, whence we know that it is now the last hour. They came from us, but they were not from us, because if they were of us, they would be with us, but this is to show that they are not all of us. And you have the anointing of the Holy One, and you know all things. I did not write to you because you did not know the truth, but because you know it, and because no lie comes from the truth. Who is the liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ? It is the Antichrist who denies the Father and the Son. Whoever denies the Son does not have the Father either, but he who confesses the Son has also the Father. Therefore, what you heard from the beginning, remain in you. If what you heard from the beginning remains in you, you will also remain in the Son and the Father. And this is the promise he made to us, eternal life. These things I have written to you concerning those who deceive you. And the anointing you received from him remains in you, and you do not need anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you all things, and is true, and is no lie, as it taught you, so shall you abide in him. And now, little children, abide in him, so that, when he appears, we may have confidence, and not be confounded by him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone who does what is righteous is born of him. Thank you for watching the channel subscribe, like and share.